If you believe the police, the underworld, once dominated by heavies like Sammy the Bull Gravano, Big Paul Castellano, and Fat Tony Salerno, Ow! has a new big shot, Skinny Joey Merlino. We're giving out turkeys. Philadelphia police believe Skinny Joey is as heavy as a crime boss can be these days. This is where they hang. For years, Joey Merlino has been the object of Detective Sergeant Walt Coughlin's attention. There's a couple of his boys there. Coughlin's been watching the mob for 26 years. He remembers when Joey Merlino was born. Joey Merlino, true or false? Extortion? Yes. Loan sharking? Yes. Narcotics? I would say he has people dabbling in it, yes. He's down at the corner over there. It's not hard to keep track of Merlino. He even allowed us to follow him. Not to talk, but to watch. While the others in this South Philly storefront smoke cigars and played cards, Merlino talked softly on his cell phone. He has no visible means of support, no clearly visible means of support, but he drives a flashy car. Dresses in flashy clothes and throws a big Thanksgiving party for disadvantaged kids. How are you? First, they're going to eat like a Thanksgiving dinner, turkey, everything, and then after that, Santa Claus and open their gifts. Thank you, Jess. My pleasure. Happy holidays. You're my idol. Joey Molino makes friends with everybody. Yeah. Everybody, except the people that want to kill them. Organized crime isn't what it used to be. You got something to say, Tony? Thank you. Joey Merlino, according to investigators, is the head of a broken family, divorced from its own grand past when godfathers ruled vast criminal empires. I think Joey is the next generation of the American mob, if you will. George Anastasia follows the mob almost as closely as the police do. He watched as the old criminal empires were crippled by gunmen and lawmen. And they've been able to bring down one family after the other, one boss after the other. So maybe in a sense, you're better off being kind of a guerrilla mob boss. You know, bounce around, a small group of guys. And at least in his neighborhood, everybody knows Joey's name. Oh, Joey Merlino. Yeah. You know Joey Merlino? Oh. You could say Merlino is a big fish in a small pond, but it's more like a fishbowl. Every move he makes is watched closely by police. Prosecutors have been attacking the mob using powerful new laws that mandate stiff sentences and huge fines. The experts say anyone who wants to be a boss today is either exceptionally strong or exceptionally stupid. Nowadays, if you take over the control of what remains of a crime family, you might as well just put a sign around your neck that says, Indict me very soon, please. You slammed the door on me. Merlino doesn't say much about the mob, but his lawyer, Joe Santaguida, says all the talk about Merlino is just talk. They've been saying the same things for three, four years, and for three, four years, he, he hasn't been arrested, thank God. Maybe he's got a good lawyer. Well, a good lawyer gets you out of it once you're arrested. The police say Merlino will be arrested sooner rather than later. But they've been saying that for years. Meanwhile, Skinny Joey is living high on the hog, while the cops bide their time looking for their next trophy in a game they say has become a lot easier to play. In Philadelphia, I'm Richard Schlesinger for Eye on America.